my favorite thing to do when I fly now is read this magazine called Cosmopolitan. Ladies, do we read this magazine? Yeah, this magazine basically teaches us how to be whores, right? Like, there was an article in there. It was like, how to turn on your guy. He's a guy. Take off a sock. It's a pretty short article. <laughs> There's another one. It was like, for adventurous sex, surprise your man at work for a quickie. I'm like, I cannot surprise my man at work for a quickie, okay? He doesn't have a job. <laughs> not like that. I'm just not adventurous. Like there was this other article that was all about role play, which I guess people do this now. They dress up in costumes and have sex with each other. And I guess the most popular role play fantasy it said was the nurse fantasy, which I don't even know. Like if I was going to do the nurse fantasy for my man, I would just make him wait in the living room <laughs> for an hour <laughs> before rejecting his health insurance. That's how that would go down. <laughs> I did have a guy do this to me once. I had a guy say to me once, he was like, I want you to be a stripper for me. I was like, uh, you want me to be emotionally unavailable and take your money? I've been doing that since we freaking met. <laughs> you guys are really into that stuff. Like you guys watch porn, which is so gross. I do not like porn because it raises the bar too high. You know what I mean? Like women in porn are always like yelling so loud, which I guess you guys think that's sexy to yell. I'm not like that at all in the bedroom. I'm very quiet in the bedroom. I like to keep a very low profile in there. I will occasionally whisper encouraging things. You know, I'll be like, good job. I really appreciate that. I really think you're showing a lot of improvement. <laughs> I do not like porn. Like I recently had to go to a girlfriend of mine's bachelorette party, so we had to go to a male strip club, and it wasn't, I wasn't like into it, it was like gross, but the funny thing about male strip clubs is all the male strippers are always in like policemen's uniforms, and right in like firemen's uniforms, because they say that women like a man in uniform. It's not about the uniform, okay? We like men with jobs. <laughs> You will never see a male stripper come out with pajama pants on, <laughs> holding a video game controller and a donut. <laughs> all we want is romance. That's all we really want, you know? And I think women, we get programmed to want romance at a very young age. I think it starts with the nicknames we get growing up. Like my dad growing up called me princess, right? Princess, he drilled into my head as a kid that I'm a freaking princess. And then I grew up and I got into the real world and I realized that no one else was on board. <laughs> with the whole princess thing, right? But you guys, I just feel like we need to start calling kids things that prepare them for real life. You know, get in the car, rehab, let's go, come on. <laughs> but then guys get called things that make them obsessed with sports, right? You guys get called like champ, sport, right? You guys are so obsessed with sports, you guys can't even refer to increments of a relationship without referring to sports, right? First base. We got to second base. Like, you don't see women running around referring to increments of our relationships through things we like. It's not like last night, me and Mark. Uh, Chanel purse. <laughs> you guys are so obsessed with sports that you guys will actually wear jerseys for teams that you're not even on, but you think you're on the team. Like, you'll be like, yeah, last night, I guess we just didn't score enough. Last night, I guess we just didn't play enough defense. We. The Canadians don't need you, okay? That's like me watching Grey's Anatomy in scrubs. <laughs> and then after the show is over, be like, oh God, we just could not save that guy. I don't know. I love you, Montreal. Thank you so much for having me. I'm